Okay, this is a shot of the um, Ross Cohen NCI Coast Guard Observation Station on uh, Anglesey. And uh, here we've got the Milky Way towering over it. And this is a 200 odd second exposure at um, around about 800 ISO, I think. And uh, to go with it, we've got a few of these five second exposures at. Uh, 6400 ISO I think it was 6400 anyway but um, the big problem is these and getting in these little small spaces and um, getting in to these small spaces here in between the railings with the mask inside Starry Landscape Stacker and uh, I'll show you what I mean. So if I go over to uh, Starry Landscape Stacker and uh, I pull in these images here and I click open and it's going to read them and uh, it's recognized them as seven light frames and um, come on there we go and uh, yeah so let's zoom to actual pixels and um, let's uh, get down to here and yeah you can see we're going to have an absolute nightmare and um, I'm not going to um, bother with the entire image I'm just going to uh, titivate around here um, because this is the actual main problem point because things are so so delicate so close together and uh, so pale in luminosity um, and being very very close to the actual sky itself it's going to be an absolute nightmare and plus the fact that in areas such as this here where these railings are set against the sky no matter how hard we try we are not going to be able to get right into the corners and we're going to have problems in using the masking uh, the sky masking facility in starry landscape stacker to we're going to have problems with actually trying to separate these railings from the actual sky so I just put a, a few dots in there and let's just go and ask it to find the sky and there we go and you can see it's catching the railings already now you'd think yeah well that's not a problem Andy because we can go on with a very very small brush and we can sort of paint away on the railings but it's all very imprecise you get wibbly wobbly wavy edges and of course if we go up to here it's not managing to bring any definition to these antennae sticking up here and uh, here's the thing we can actually make a mask for our image inside of Photoshop and then bring that mask to bear in this part of the operation inside Starry Landscape Stacker and uh, if I flip back over to uh, Photoshop and here we've got the long exposure low ISO image and uh, if I bring that up to a fit to screen view you can see it's not got much noise in it at all and we've got the antennae and everything there and what I've done is if I go over to the paths panel I've actually made a mask or I should say I've made a path and what we've done is we've got into all the little nooks and crannies of the image We've got right inside the windows, we've encompassed the antennae and various other bits and bobs. 
we've got this cable coming down here and we've got into all the areas inside these railings so if I now control click on the path panel and uh, then I come back to layers and uh, let's just go out to a fit to screen view and you can see I mean the the path goes right outside the image here but you can see we've got a selection going now which is derived from that path that we made and we made the path with the pen tool and we did it in a bit of a hurry I'll admit that but even in a bit of a hurry it took me well over an hour to do and we weren't using any of the Bezier curve features inside the um, the pen tool we were just using simple dot 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 so quite a lot of it nearly all the paths are just ang angular and uh, but it goes to serve the purpose of illustration so I've got this selection active and I'm going to click to add a mask click the little add mask icon there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go select all and that's going to select the entire image and what we're going to do is we're going to go edit copy and then we're going to go file new and because I've got a copy a, a copy of this image um, in the clipboard we are going to make a new document which is exactly the same size now what we need is we need the color mode to be in grayscale we can have it in 16 bit or we can have it in 8 bit uh, because it's just going to be a black and white mask so it doesn't really matter 8 bits plenty but we need it with uh, transparent background and we'll go and click create and then what we need to do is go edit paste and there's our mask inside a new image and it's actually there as a layer not a, a channel not a selection and uh, the thing you've got to remember when you do this sort of operation yeah, because you, there's hundreds and hundreds of different uses inside Photoshop for, for, um, for doing this operation not just astro photographs and making a mass for starry landscape stacker not by any means but um, when you do this you'll see you've got a single layer however in the background we go image uh, layer you'll, need, you'll see that flatten image is highlighted so what we need to do is we need to flatten that image because it does actually contain a stack of more than one particular item yeah that's why it's in the background because it's not an image layer or it's not a stack of image layers it's not a stack of adjustment layers there are selections in there which all need to be flattened out so okay so now we've got our main mask if you like mask image although this is probably the first time you've ever seen a mask that exists in a layer as opposed to and, and not a not an accoutrement of the layer not a layer mask it's an actual mask itself a black and white two-tone image so what we need to do is we need to go file and we need to go save as and we're going to call this, let's call this mask 2 and uh, we need to save it in the same place as um, our raw files and uh, yeah I think that will go OK, we'll go save and we'll click OK alright so that's now saved and we'll come back to Starry Landscape Stacker yeah 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 you'll look, quite often you'll get that message can't export the, export the clipboard because it's too big fine fair enough and what we need to do is go open and uh, we don't want to work with current images we'll load new images and we'll select all of those raw uh, those TIFF files again if uh, Andy can remember which uh, key to hold down and we'll also select the mask to TIFF and now we'll click open and it spotted all eight images now it's going to read them and hopefully identify them properly so we've got seven light frames and a mask Come on. and there we go as if by magic there is our Photoshop generated mask 
built in, ready to rock and roll, and click Align and Save. And there we go, as if by magic, our sky has been aligned from behind the mask that we created in Photoshop. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to save this as PS Mask, Composite TIFF, and we'll go save, and then we'll save the composite sky just as a matter of course, and uh, there we go. And if I go into zoom to actual pixels, and let's scroll the way down here. Look how fabulous that is there. You, I mean, you just couldn't wish for better. Um, I'll just go and have a look at the antennae. That's not too bad. What we'll need to do is just pick these up probably again inside Photoshop. But the actual quality of the image itself, the full image coming out of Starry Landscape Stacker, is phenomenal and so precise. Look at that, there's no blurring, everything's nice and straight, absolutely great. So, for goodness sake, when you get a very, very complex, fine detail skyline like this, don't forget, you can actually make a mask inside of Photoshop and use that mask inside Starry Landscape Stacker. So there you go. You very, very useful tip. As I say, it takes ages and ages to make the mask, or it can do. Or it can be very simple because we can make a mask using the um, calculations panel using the channels in the image, as we did in the very first exercise. Um, all depends what's in the image. So, just bear this in mind, nothing is impossible. And if you're having problems trying to get detail in the uh, using the um, painted mask inside uh, Starry Landscape Stacker, just bear in mind, you can do it this way as well. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope, it, hope it's been a bit of a revelation for you. It certainly was a revelation to me when I first found out I could make masks in Photoshop and use them in there. Starry Landscape Stacker. But uh, anyway, like I say, hope you've enjoyed that. Hope that's been useful for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.